What is up guys? I'm back here making another video. I haven't made a video in a while. I've been slacking a little bit, but I've had a couple really nice days recently and I figured I'd record this video. Uh, the other day, actually, I just caught a fish to shy 20. I'll pop in a clip of that guy underwater. And I've had a couple of other nice days. But we're here on the Farmington River. We're gonna be fishing some riffles for some Hopefully nice fish. Uh, my dad has fished the past couple of days and he said the sulfur hatch has been pretty good. So we're gonna try to catch a couple of dry flies in the evening, but for right now we are euronymphing. I have my 10 foot three weight that I'll be using. My top fly is a golden stone size 12 and the bottom is a little uh, sulfur nymph uh, from uh, Derek from CT Fish Guides that I saw that I tied up. And hopefully we can catch something starting with that. If not, we'll move around the uh, sulfur nymph, but the uh, stoneflies have been doing pretty nicely. So with that, let's get to the water and let's get fishing. Got one guys. This is a nice fish. This is actually a really nice fish. Just trying to keep his head out of the rocks right here. Got one. You know what it's on to? Tiffany's fly. Yeah, so I want, I want a picture. All right, guys, this is a really solid fish. So what I was saying to my dad is uh, my uh, girlfriend, who is not a fly tire, uh, tied me up a whole bunch of flies. Not a whole bunch, five. <laughs> and then she got done with it. But um, I've been trying to catch a fish on them because, uh, you know, I want to show her that they can catch fish. And... Um, this really, really, really solid fish. I had uh, just changed up my flies because uh, my dad said he caught a fish on a caddis. So, that, I mean, that's what it is. I'll show you guys the picture after, but. Uh, that's a nice rainbow right there. And he fought really good. He's a strong fish. Next cast went out and took it. I'm psyched. Uh -oh. Oh, you got yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So I will show you the fly right here that I caught that guy on. It is just a little green caddis pupa. It's a size 16, three uh, millimeter tungsten bead in black. And I mean, that's it. Got one. Off. Oh, I had one. All right, guys. So we changed spots. We headed upriver a little bit. I wasn't just. I wasn't really feeling that last spot, so just moved. Uh, we're gonna nymph for a little longer, then hopefully some sulfurs pop off. We can catch some dry fly action, and then hopefully after all that, there will be a spinner fall, and then we can catch some bigger fish on spinners up there and then yeah let's get to fishing got one guys just a little guy Oh, this guy messed up my whole rig. There is the little guy right there. 
tiny, tiny fish. Yeah. Oh, you guys can see him right there. Nice fish, and he'll go off and live his life. I got that guy on was uh, CT Fish Guides um, Sulfur Nymph. Uh, I think I used Turkey Buy It instead of Goose Buy It, or like Goose Buy It instead of Turkey Buy It, something like that. Uh, so it's not the exact, but it's essentially the pattern. Uh, and I just got that guy Euro Nymph thing. What I did here was, I think in the past you guys always see me put the heavy fly up top and the lighter fly down bottom. But since these bugs are up in the water column, I reversed it so that way my sulfur nymph is higher up, like it's going up to emerge and they're taking it that way. Uh, so one fish out of here, there's fish up here rising. So hopefully some more fish start rising, but let's uh, let's try to get some more. Got another one, guys. This one feels a lot better. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to say anything because it's probably small again, but he just got me in the current. Yeah, it's just a rainbow. It's not that big. Just, you know, you guys know. You, you guys know. Rainbows are crazy. This guy will not give up. He's not a big fish, but... Got some funky stuff going on. Show you guys. Nice fish. He's got some stuff happening with his mouth. I'll let him go, but. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a little guy right there. That was a really little guy. All right, guys, my dad over there has a fish. Apparently, it's not a big fish, but it's kicking his butt. So, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, he tried. That was the fish. Was it a rainbow? sulfurs were trying to have be on the water over there not in my hand but there you go all right guys we moved up to the slower part and there's a bunch of fish rising so i have a spinner on my dad has a spinner on and we're going to see if we can catch some of these fish this water is very slow so got to be careful moving around but uh, yeah, let's try to catch some of these fish on dry flies. All right, so what's up guys? I just realized I forgot to film an outro. So I'm back in my house, just finished up editing the video. Sick video, tons of nice fish. And I will say it sucked that we didn't catch any fish on the dry flies at the end of the video. But it's okay, we'll get some more of that for you. They were on some like weird bug, like a really big bug. I actually, my dad did some research and I did some research and we think it was like a hexagenia, but we, we don't know. Like that, it like went off at like nine at night when it was like super dark. So didn't get any there, but tons of fish nymphing. Not tons, but fish nymphing. <laughs> and I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you did don't forget to like subscribe all that stuff and i will see you guys in the next video